hello and welcome to soft expert if you want to create a freelance marketplace just like fiverr and upwork this video is for you i have couple of videos about this topic already but i have recently found this new theme which is called felon and this is an all in one freelance marketplace in a job or wolf theme there are couple of reason to choose this theme over the others and number one it's completely compatible with elementor so you can create and customize the website without coding just by drag and drop Secondly, we can use this theme for a freelance marketplace or for a job or website. Third, this is a new theme and it's updated recently and has more features than the others that we will discover later on in the theme options where we can just toggle things and we can customize the website and we can turn on turn off any functionalities that we need. So let's explore this theme and then we will see a demo of this theme and then I'll show you how you can get this theme and how you can install this on your domain. And lastly, I'll go through quickly how you can customize this theme how you can change the logo colors and customize the main pages this won't be a one hour long tutorial but i will show you the important parts and to learn more about this theme you can just go to my channel search for a specific topic and hopefully you will get a video about that topic so there's a link to this theme in the video description let's click on browse demos and first you can see there are 13 plus freelance demos available so these are the demos that you can use to create a freelance marketplace okay then scroll down we have 9 plus job board demos as well. So if you want to create a job board website only, you can use these demos. And we have listing pages. So a service listing, service detail page and service pop-up just like Upwork. We have project listing, project detail, project pop-up, job listing, job details and user listing like freelancers and with a map detail page and employers and each user like employers and freelancer will get a detail dashboard like this where they can manage their project services jobs packages wallet and so on then we have some more powerful features like service listing project listing job listing a user can switch his profile to buyer or seller we have social logins job alerts notification proposals review rating multiple payment gateways messaging system meeting schedule membership plans and each and every option that a freelance marketplace needs this theme is completely responsive for mobile and tablet and also good nsc optimization and website speed and these are some other features that we will get with this theme by the way there is no need for any freemium plugin we will just get this theme and we will get and we will get all these features then as I said, we have Elementor page builder and if you have any questions, they got you covered. Let's explore a demo website so that you get the idea. I'll just scroll up. We have couple of demos here. Let's open up this one. Okay, cool. So this is the website. Here on the top, we have a logo. Then all the demos. So basically a menu with mega menus, listing, users and all the required pages. Then here we have search where we can filter for freelancers, services or projects. And here I am logged in as employer. Okay. Again a search with all the categories. You can manage these categories in the dashboard. I'll show you later on. You can customize this as well. Then services by categories. Some brand logos. Start as a freelancer or employer. Trending services. Updated freelancers. If someone is paying you more, you can just picture his profile here, okay? And testimonials, blog, and a footer. This is just one home page, and obviously, we can customize it the way we want it. We will get all these home pages, we can combine them, and we can create a brand new page as well, and so on. And this is another home page just to show you, okay? Let's open up any profile here. So this is a user profile, the profile picture, name, rating, and then price, social links, location, and languages. An employer can send a job invitation to this freelancer or send message. Skills, insights, about me, services, reviews, with a portfolio, and so on. So under services. And this freelancer is offering these services. Let's open any of them. 
So we got the service detail page. This is the title, person name, rating, sales, and number of views, publish date, portfolio, and then the planes. The basic one, the price, detail, standard, premium. You can see the button is also changing. And you can compare this gig with other, again the profile of the person and description. These are the detail pricing and some similar services, ok. We can send him a message, just type the title, content and send. We can even upload image or a file here. And let's quickly go to listing and projects. And we have couple of pages for it, ok. We can keep the one that we need. So the project listing, again a 4 will filter with the location and radius, categories and projects. You can notice if I hover my mouse, this will change the location, ok. So as a freelancer, I can submit a proposal here or I can open any project. And this is the project detail page, ok, with all the required details that you can see. And this is the hourly rate and as a freelancer, I can send a proposal or I can send message to this person. Okay, so this was a quick overview of this theme. Now let's see how we can get this theme and how we can set this up on our domain. So again, the theme link is in the description. Just click on that and it will take you to this page. Fill on Freelance Marketplace and Job or Wolf's theme. This is the theme price. By the way, this is a one-time fee. So you can pay this once and you can use this theme for a lifetime. Again, you can learn more about this theme here on this page as well. Now to get this theme, just click on it to cart. And then go to checkout. And this is the order summary and here you can favor this theme using Visa, Mastercard, Credit Card or Paypal. So just select your payment method, enter your detail and click on pay securely. And after payment, you can go to the downloads page and here you can download the theme. So just click on this download and here you can download all files and documentation and also you will need its purchase code. Make sure to download both these files and after download, you will get two files like these. And this is the purchase code and this is the theme file and before uploading we will just right click and click extract all and this will give us a new folder and here we have the theme and we can upload the theme files to our wallface dashboard okay so here i am in the wallface dashboard and to upload the theme we will go to appearance themes click add new theme Upload, choose file and from that folder under theme we will choose the main theme, open and install now. Ok now we can go ahead and proceed with the main theme but the best practice is to use the child theme because if you modify the theme files or we add our custom codes they will remain in the child theme even after updating the main theme ok. So to add the child theme you can click add new theme, upload, choose file. This time we will select the child theme, open and install now. And the parent theme is already there so we can go ahead and activate the child theme. And once you activate the theme, you will see this notice, Phelan requires Elementor. Now we can use free Elementor for which you can go to this link in the description. And this will take you to this page from where you can download Elementor for free. So just click on download now, type in your email and then click let's go. And this will download a zip file for you. Now this zip file has both Wallface and Elementor. So we will extract Elementor and then we will upload it. Okay, so let's click on it. We'll open this folder. Go to WP Content and Plugins. And here we have Elementor. So you can extract this to your desktop. Okay, just drag it over here. Or you can just go back. And here you can just click on Begin Installing Plugins. And you can see this theme required only these four plugins. This is for contact forms, this is for MailChimp, and this is the page builder, and this is the core plugin. So let's select all. Here we will choose install and apply. And all installation and activation have been completed. Let's return to our dashboard. And after installing the themes and plugins, you will get more options like VLAN, VLAN jobs, employers, freelancers, extensions, and builder. We got these options but still if I visit the website in a new tab, here we have nothing just a hello world first ok. So let's get all those demo content and then we will see how we can customize. So to import the demo content, we will go to VLAN, import 
as I said, you can either create a job board website or a freelance marketplace. I need a freelance marketplace, so I'll just click on import here, fetching data, and choose what you want to import. So here we can import any of these options or we can import all. So make sure to select all to get everything. And then just click on continue, which will start importing the demo content. Now this will take some time based on your internet speed and the hosting speed, okay? So let's wait for it. And after import, you will see this message, all done. Import is successful. Now customization is easy as, now we can go ahead and visit our website. Let's click on it. And there we go. We got the whole website. This is by the way, the home one. Okay. I haven't showed you this, but let's see it over here. We have a logo and we will display our menu here later on. We have the search bar user. This is the hero section. So we can search for a service within a specific area and all cities we have categories we have services and top talent these images are missing but we can add our own images okay latest projects testimonials blog and footer so this is just one home page okay let's go back to our dashboard and if i go to pages you can see we got 76 pages here now obviously we can't keep all these but we will just keep the pages that we need and we can delete the rest of the pages now i will show you how you can customize the pages later on before that let's go to the theme options under fill in theme options we have all these options i can't cover all these in this short video but i will show you some important options here you can go to general options and you can enable and disable these things based on your need so for example, you need post type jobs, you can turn this on. I don't want jobs as we already have projects, so we have turned this off. Then if you don't want the freelancer services, you can turn this off. You can turn off projects, you can enable admin approval, you can enable switch account and so on. So all these things are self-explanatory and I don't want to waste your time here, okay? Let's scroll up. We have companies options, freelancer options, again, you can change the layout for it. You can change the number of items on a page, type of pagination and position filter and so on. And these are the content order that you can drag like this. And you can hide and display an option like this. Then we have profile where we have the multi-language option, display name, the basic info and the submission fields. Now, as I mentioned earlier, this theme has lots of options that we can just toggle here and we can get the functionality. Okay. And in the same way, we have services options. We have projects, payouts, social networks, and all these. You can go to payment options, and you can see this is for employer. So, paid submission type, pay for package, or you can make it free. We have PayPal settings, so you can enable it. Then you can change this to live, and you can use your PayPal client ID and client secret. So you can get these details from PayPal and Stripe and you can integrate your payment methods. This is for Razorpay, wire transferring and WooCommerce. If you enable WooCommerce, you can disable all these, okay? Then we have freelancer setting. So pay for package or free submit. So if a freelancer want to submit a service, they will have to pay for it, okay? Again, we have payment settings and then we have project settings in the same way. And obviously we can't cover all these details in the short video. But I will provide you a link to its documentation where we have details for all these options. I will also show you later on in this video, okay? Then here we have employers. So everything related to employer like companies, packages, user package, invoices and so on, they will go here. These are related to freelancers. And then we have some extensions and fill and builder where we have header and footer builder and mega menu. Let me quickly show you if I go to header. Here we have these headers that are built with Elementor, okay? I can edit any of them with Elementor. Let me open this one and a new tab. This will open up Elementor where we can customize this header using free Elementor. If you get this option, just click on recreate kit. Here you can recreate kit. Then save changes. Go back and reload it. And now we can customize this header, okay? Okay, so here you can edit this container. If you want to give this a specific background or something. You can click on side logo you can change its width we will go later on this how we can change the logo okay i am not going in much detail because elementor is very really easy and i have couple of videos about elementor already 
So here you can basically customize the header. Now let me quickly show you how you can customize the pages. For that you can go back to dashboard and in the same way you can go to pages and then edit any page with Elementor. Okay. Let me just visit the website and let's edit the home page from here. And again Elementor is very easy. Just click on any element. Let's say this heading. You can write your own heading here. Okay. And inside this mark you can write the text that you want to highlight. You can link this to a specific page. You can give this some animation and you can write a description for it which is this one and so on. This is also coming from Elementor. Basically a search horizontal bar. Okay. This is for the services. You can change this for jobs, companies or freelancers. You can add different options to it. You can display arrow, display clear and so on. Then under services, you can show categories, scales and locations. Okay. Let me turn this on. Now you can see search, cities and then categories. Scroll down, this is by the way just an image. And then categories, you can open up any item. Here you can choose a category. These categories can be managed in the dashboard. And you can change its icon. And services, so you can change the layout to be a list, grid or modern. The image size and enable tab, which are these tabs. These are the tab items, okay can enable slider, number of columns, post per page and so on. This is normal text, icon list, image and so on. So in this way you can customize the website using Elementor very easily. If you want to add a new section just click on this plus and you can add a container with different columns. Then you can add any element to these columns. For which you can watch my Elementor playlist ok. Let's close this and at the end just click on publish to save your changes. Let's go back to our dashboard and in the same way you can go to fill and builder and you can customize the footer and also the mega menu ok. And then you can go to appearance and click on customize which will open up customization. Here you can go to general site identity and this is the site title and these are the logos. Here you can upload your own logos so just click on select image and drag and drop any file from your computer ok. This is very easy. Here you can add a site icon that you will see in the browser tab, ok. Go back. We have page loading effects and page titles. Typography where you can change the body fonts and also the heading fonts, ok. It's up to you that which font family you want. We have colors. So now we are using this color for text. This is the accent color. You can change it if you want to. Here you can customize the layout, top bar, header. So we have different types of headers that I showed you and here you can decide which one you want to display on the whole website. And you can enable top bar, enable sticky, float and so on. So again lots of options to customize ok. Same goes for footer, or a port page, blog, menus and so on. Then at the end just click on publish to save your changes ok. So this was Philan Marketplace World Fish theme. Now I know I couldn't cover everything in this video. But still if there were any questions feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll try to answer them. And also you can visit the theme documentation, link will be given in the description. And for more such videos you can follow my channel. And again if there were any doubts let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next.